We want to head over to Elizabeth Van Mitri. We know this morning that Cuyahoga County still has more than 181,000 customers without power. 22,000 customers without power in Geauga County. So we want to know First Energy, what are they saying this morning about when the power could come back on? Yeah, they're saying that there's a possibility that homes and businesses may not see power again until Wednesday with 250,000 Northeast Ohioans without power today. 180,000 of those people right here in Cuyahoga County. First Energy did reach out to us and say that they are working around the clock, working to get power restored in some areas that are still not seeing any power but it may not be restored until the 14th. Now, if you're watching this and still don't have power in the power in Cuyahoga County, Cuyahoga County of Emergency Management has some tips for you to keep in mind as you're navigating all of this. There are still some downed wires in our area, and if you see one, you're told to just stay away. There's absolutely no way for you to know if a wire is active or not. If one does happen to fall on your car, stay in your car and call 911. We're heading into that third day without power. Some of you may be relying on generators, camp stoves or charcoal grills. Keep those at least 20 feet away from your home to avoid carbon monoxide poisoning. Opt in for flashlights and lanterns inside of your home. Don't use a gas stove or candle to heat your house. Finally, when in doubt, throw it out. Refrigerated food that's been exposed to temperatures of 40 degrees or higher for more than four hours need to go. Keep an eye out for unusual odor, color or texture. A lot of your food is going to be going bad. We spoke to a Lakewood resident who says she's still in shock over weather, over the weather that we saw on Tuesday, but just happy that everyone was okay. I'm just thankful and nothing like a day to be with my family right now that kind of reminds me of like centering myself and being like the little things matter. Like I got my family. Now, if you do have questions about resources, you're, call, you're asked to call 211 to get in touch with the United Way of Greater Cleveland. They can help you with information about food, clothing, and housing. Mike and Tiffany, we know as we head into this third day, a lot of people, especially those who are already food insecure, may be losing a lot of food. So it's important that they go ahead and reach out to those resources to kind of help meet and fill those gaps. For News 5, Elizabeth Van Mitri, back to you. Yeah, you might also want to check in with your home insurance, renter's insurance, because they might help cover the cost of the food that was lost. Thank you, Elizabeth.